as promised to the Arizona Fall League now, which recently wrapped up play. Over the past few weeks, we have covered the Yankee prospects' progress. The final player we highlight is pitcher Ian Clarkin, the Yankees' first-round pick in 2013. Clarkin sat out all of 2015 with an elbow injury after posting a 3.12 ERA in 16 minor league starts in A and high A ball in 2014. The New York Yankees select Ian Clarkin. Being drafted by the Yankees in 2013, 33rd overall, was exciting for Ian Clarkin, and he enjoyed instant success in his first professional season in 2014. 2015 was a different story for Clarkin. Coming out of spring training felt amazing. You know, getting ready for the season, you know, I was 100% ready to go. I had a little something come up and never, you know, I came back up, you know, I was getting ready to get going, I shut down again. Get ready to get going, shut down again. He spent the entire season injured with elbow inflammation. He was shut down and it was indeed frustrating for him. When you love something so much and, you know, you don't get to do it, um, you know, it, it kills you. So, you know, this year, like I said, it's been really long, but, you know, it's, it's in the past now. I just, try and, I just try and look in the future. Being back on the mound in the Arizona Fall League was something Parkin was looking forward to, and he took the mound with a purpose out west. I'm really critical on myself. You know, when I watch film, I have a lot of improvements to do. You know, last year, I think I had a good amount of strikeouts, but you know, what I've been working on this year is getting a lot of ground balls and certain situations help me through the inning. You know, let's say you're, you have bases loaded one out. Instead of striking the next two guys out and wasting six pitches to get them out, but it's probably going to take more than six pitches, get a ground ball in one pitch and get out of the inning. Changeup has been the most comfortable pitch so far. I can throw it any single count, you know, 2-0, 2-1, 2-2. Also the curveball. I've been throwing a lot more for strikes, but like I said, you know, another critique of mine is I need to do a better job of when I'm ahead of hitters to finish hitters. I've had a lot of 1-2, 0-2 oh, counts that I've let slip away with ground balls, base hits, or I end up walking them. So, you know, I have a lot of stuff I need to work on. Ian Clark, you know, he's still young, but it's good to see a guy like him here, you know, being able to compete, being able to, to battle through every, any outings of, you know, every lineup so far, you know. Well, I played against him in high school, and I know the potential that he has. Um, he's got really good stuff, he knows how to pitch. Um, and I think once he gets rolling and stays healthy, he's going to be a really good asset for us. I'm more of like a, a, like a natural talent guy. You know, he can pick up the ball over a year and do what he's been doing the whole season. Um, that, that's big. That's big for you know, you know, a pitcher to be able to have so much rest off and come out and still do your job. And still be the same guy I saw last year after a year off. What can I say? You know, if you're a left-handed pitcher and you hit both sides and play, then you're able to change speed and, and being able to, to, to uh, to read swings at that early age, that's a big plus for him. So I uh, look forward to see Ian Clark and to have a big impact in 2016. He felt that his time in the Arizona Fall League would provide a great springboard for 2016 and a chance to work on his craft. I'm going to come to spring training as best as I've ever been. Um, you know, as hard as I've ever worked in the off season, you know, to get ready for next year. And, you know, I'm going to be ready for any situation that happens. You know, it doesn't matter where I'm going to be. I want to dominate. It's, you know, no matter where I'm at.